Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruben, and in this channel I talk about stationery and languages, among other things, but those are the basically... Those are the basically... That's beautiful English. Those are the main two topics that I'll be discussing in my channel if you... So, basically, for 2022, let me just tell you a little story for 2022. Um, once upon a time... A few months ago, there was a person who thought that they could do without Hobonichi. So they said, you know, Hobonichi, Hobonichi's pricing is a little bit steep. And I might as well just buy other planners because, you know, I've always been using all kinds of planners. And when I was in high school, my planners were like three euro, the cheapest. And I would just mess them up and throw them away. Like, I, I just wouldn't care about them. So what's so special about them now? You know, let me just... Let me just pare it all down, let me just go back to basics like Christina Aguilera, and let me just buy a regular, you know, Korean planner, like a cheaper Korean planner, like an Iconic, if you know the brand. Well, at first, I said, I'm not gonna buy Hobonichi, I'm not gonna do that, and I'm just gonna buy a Korean planner and a Midori planner. So I bought a, um, a Lavender Iconic planner, I'm gonna post the picture, I'm gonna show you the photo because I don't know where it is. I may have lost it, I may have thrown it away, I have no idea. But you know, I was like, I'm gonna buy that and then I'm gonna buy a Midori MD One Day, One Page, which is here. Okay, this is a very hefty book. This was like 42 euro, hefty book. Because it contains pages for every single day of the year, it's like more than 300 pages. And as you can see, there are only two tabs. One and two for January and February. And to be honest with you, I barely wrote anything, so it's pretty much empty. Now, the good thing about this is that I could reuse it anytime because I could just like cover the calendars and I could just like use it as a bit of a notepad journal, like a bigger journal scrapbook type of thing. So I'm not that mad at it. But still, you know, I, let me see if I can show you something. Let me see. Yeah. So this is what I did. Pretty much. Shit mood. Those three days, those two days in March of 2022. God knows why, I can't recall. So it was pretty much empty. I do remember writing a few things in the beginning of the year, but as you can see, it was a bit of a failure. But in this channel, we embrace the failure. You know, we embrace the mess. So after that moment of hesitation that I've had with the planners, in which I bought those two planners that I did not end up using, I just went back to Hobonichi. Last year, I used this lineup pretty much. It was uh, Hobonichi Techo Cousin in Japanese because the English edition was not available. And then I used this, which is the Weeks, the Forest Tiger cover, which I loved. Um, and along with the Yuka Hiragi cover on cover. So here it is. And this is the this is one of the pencil boards, but I, I just kept it here because I have a Ranma one that you're gonna see later on. I think I've showed it to you already. Feel free to check my other Hobonichi videos because I'm sure I've said many of the things that I'm about to say today. So this was what I used um, with the Pokemon card that I told you about and this little notepad for some kind of money tracking. I barely used any of the notes pages and I wanna make sure that I use them a bit more because I don't do much with them. You know, there are lots of them are empty. So I would like to use them a bit more. And so then, this was my work planner. It was my work planner. There is some stuff that I don't really feel comfortable showing, not because it's like, you know, it is important, but you know, I don't feel comfortable just like sharing absolutely everything. So it was basically work. Um, I just write here everything about work. And then along with these two, I used a, a third notebook it was more for like side projects or little things that I had going on that I didn't feel fitted in here. But now what I have to say is that this planner has a lot of space for everything. So I could have pretty much used this for personal and work. However, my brain, my mind needs separation. And that is why I have these two things. So this is my work, my professional, my career stuff. And this is my personal stuff. Let's move on to the current year. And let me just tell you what I'm using. Let me just show you. Okay, are you ready for the innovation elevation alignment of it all? Are you ready for some innovation and some new systems? Are you ready for them? 
Wow, wow. I, it's just the pinnacle, you know, of innovation <laughs> and elevation. <laughs> So this is my my current lineup for 2023. So as you can see, there's an English cousin and a red Hobonichi Weeks. This is the mother of my friends. You have a separate video about it. So work and personal stuff. I'm using the Animal Crossing pen. And so basically what I like to do on here, here I like to write down the tasks that got carried over from the previous week. And then after that, I just like to keep writing my different tasks without looking at the hours because I don't really care. I sometimes highlight the hours that I work. And then if I don't get something done, I do an arrow and I just move it over to the following day and it goes like, dun, 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 like that until the following week. And then I just use the dailies for notes. I just use the dailies for notes and so on. As I said before, this planner has a lot of space now and this is my personal planner. This is the Hobonichi Weeks, Mother of My Friends, as I said. Very cute, very cute. And I'm using this, which is the Ranma pencil board from 2020. From the, it's the 2021 lineup. So I'm still using it. I just move it over, you know, from one planner to the next. I've also put the monthly tabs and I also have the notes pages. What do I use the notes pages for? Basically a bunch of lists. So kind of like a collection, like a bullet journal type of collection. For example, at the moment, I have a wish list, I have a video idea section. I like to keep track of how many videos I post, of what I do. Just a little, a little thing, you got a little FYI. If you watch my, if you've seen my Hobonichi Weeks video, I put a different card, but I just ended up changing it. This is Victini. It's the victory Pokemon and its move is victory jump, Santo Victoria. So I, feel, I felt it was cuter, you know, like a victory Pokemon a red card in a red planner. I was like, you know, it's a victory Pokemon. It's a victory jump from here, honeys. It is. <laughs> what I like to do per week is to put a sticker. For example, here you saw this avocado. You saw this cute little avocado. And here there's a golden sun gin. It's the Mercury, Mercury. I, I can't say. You know, English is my second language, as I told you before. It's my first foreign language that I ever learned. But sometimes words just, words, they, they are wording sometimes, you know, and they, they, they mess me up. So Mercury, it's the Mercury Gin from the Golden Sun Games. Very cute. So how do I write in this one? I pretty much use a key that is mm, quite similar to the bullet journal key. So let me just show it to you. I prepared a slip of paper from the notepad so that you can see, and then I'm gonna show you how I do things as well. So this is my key. Let me see if I can show you yeah, a bit closer. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same as the bullet journal key with little adjustments here and there. So I do the bullet point, I cross it out. I, I did bullet journaling for years. I don't know if you would be interested in seeing my past bullet journals and me making a video about that side of planning. I think it would be interesting, but what do you think? now? As you can see, I have some some of these. Uh, the adaptations, I guess, would be the doodles that I have here. So the apple, the coffee mug, going out for coffee, socializing, the cart payments or clothes or whatever. Um, it's not too strict for me. So sometimes I'll just write things that I have to do and I don't really follow it. But this is my general key. And as you can see, it's quite, it's quite uh, simple. I think, you know, there's no color coding. There's nothing like that. The only color or tracking that I do sometimes is when I go to the gym and let me show you. So if I go to my Hobonichi Weeks here and we get to the first page, again, another sticker, we get to the first page here and I have some orange stars. So this is my basic tracking that I do. It's just when I go to the gym. Um, I probably should have gone a bit more often but January was, you know, it was quite the month. Uh, there was a lot of work and there was a lot of stuff to do. So, but, you know, I did try to sneak in the gym in there. So when you see two stars, it means that I did two classes. And when you see one star, it means that I did, I went and I did one, one session. I'm going to show you how I normally plan my weeks using this planner, which is a 2021 leather planner. 
uh, which I bought for like a fourth of the price because I feel a bit more comfortable, you know? I don't want to tell you exactly what it is that I'm doing uh, for reasons that you will understand. So I'm going to show you on here because I feel like it's more, much more about the method, you know, what it is that I do. And please feel free to let me know what you do in the comments. So as I said, let's just turn to any week. I'm going to keep the key right here. You can look at it. And so let's see. Do, 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 do. This is where I tested the washing. So here we got the months. And so for example, if I go to any random month, I'm going to jump to... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to open this one, this first week in the planner, and let's just do a bit of sampling. So let me just grab my pencil case. This is one of the many pencil cases that I have um, because I just throw them in my bags. So I'm just going to grab a couple pens. Okay, this one's fine. Yeah. Okay. And one of these. And one of these. You know, it's just, it's whatever. It's whatever. So normally, I like to prepare my week beforehand a little bit. So here there is a line, an imaginary line. You can also do a line with a ruler. So I like to keep this quadrant, can I call it a quadrant? This section here for my expenses. So for example, let's just say that this Monday I went to the gym. So I do my, I put my event like that instead of, so I put like gym uh, and whichever time. Let's just say that I, I wanna go at 11, okay? So when I go and I put, for example, gym on this day, and I write in English and Spanish and whatever, so I'm writing English right now, but Jim, let's just say that I go at four. So I do that kind of thing. If I don't go, it doesn't, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I just cross it out. So let's just say that this Monday I went, okay, fine, and this one I didn't. That's it. Now let's, let's say, for instance, that this day I went to the gym and then I went to the supermarket. So I do my little apple doodle in this section for expenses. I do my little apple doodle, and let's just say that I spend uh, $19.90, for instance. Later on that day, I went out with a friend, and we had some coffee and went for a walk and whatever, what have you. So let's just say uh, that I spend, uh, for example, three ten, and that was my coffee and sandwich or whatever. And so I do it like that. Now, for example, if there is like a light bill or something like that, I sometimes do, I sometimes just write luth, for example, and I write the amount. So luth for light in Spanish. I sometimes do the little light bulb. Okay, it looks more like a mushroom, but it is a light bulb right now. Uh, but this is how I do. It's quite simple, to be honest. There's not that much I can say. And then on this side, I just take any random notes about the day. And finally, there is another thing that I've added this year to my lineup, which is more of a journal type of thing. Even though I do have notebooks where I like to write my thoughts, I wanted something that was a little bit smaller. So I got this, which is a, as you can see, it's a Leuchtturm notebook. I don't speak German, but I can if you like. So it's a Leuchtturm notebook and it's this color. I kept this here so I could show you the color. It's the Azure color. It's the A6 and I like to use it or my plan is to use this as a bit of a pocket scrapbook, pocket journal book because I saw these videos on Pinterest of somebody that had been using these and doing these, fill, filling these up uh, during their high school years or college or something like that and so this person showed like four of them and they were chunky and they were full of stuff and notes and things like that and I found them very cute. I always have these kind of notebooks in my um, my bags, but I wanted one that I bought uh, specifically for this. And of course, here's another Golden Sun sticker with the Mercury Gin and with, I think this was Mia in the game. I don't know if you remember that game, that Game Boy Advance game, but anyway. So let me just show you. I haven't done much, but my idea is to just fill it up throughout the year with different things. So. 
I start off with this, a photo of me. Not so good quality because I use a thermal printer and I think I need, there, I need to change the paper or something so it doesn't look that good. Um, and you know, I just write like little things, like do not let your inner saboteur win. I just write my thoughts in there. You know, I just write my thoughts. And this page was just about like, you know, I went through the day, I did the basics and, and things will be fine. And it's just like a rough moment that you're having right now. You know, that it was that kind of thing. Some encouragement to myself. And then this page, which I'm gonna fill up with fruit and vegetable stickers. Um, I did this the first time in my first wreck this journal, my first and only wreck this journal that I did, but I thought, but I thought I would bring it back. I just found it funny. Um, and then this, this price sticker anyway. So I don't have much in here as of now, but I do want to fill it up, complete everything and write all kinds of things. Uh, by the end of the year. That said, let's just end the video. So my current journal lineup is this, this, and this. And that's all. And that's all. Here it is. Feel free to tell me in the comments about your planner lineup or planners you're using for this year, what works for you, what doesn't, you know, just share your thoughts with me. I'd love to see them and read them and talk to you a little bit. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.